Paul, Alex here. So in this tutorial, I wanna take you through popcorn patterns. They're basically a really easy way to make your content pop. You get things like this, this lovely kind of a notification box. We've got things like this for products. We got this to take people through a step-by-step -step process. So yeah, I'm gonna put a post together basically using all of them in this video so you can see how they work and then you can start to use them within your content. So let's get started. Let's uh, create a new post. So let's call this post uh, Popcorn Theme Patterns. It's a good name for it. <laughs> let's set a featured image. I do have one um, handy. So let's upload it. Okay, now let's get started with some patterns. So you can find all of the uh, popcorn patterns uh, within Gutenberg. Just click on the little plus and then click browse all and you'll see you've got blocks here and then here are the patterns. All of the popcorn ones uh, are labeled up with popcorn but there are others as well. We've got buttons, uh, you've got some footers, columns. We'll go through these in a second. The main ones I'm gonna show you um, though today are these, the ones that you can put within content. So I'm gonna come back to the table of contents, actually, we'll add that at the end. Um, let's start with popcorn alerts. So you simply just select whichever one you want, they come in a selection of colors, give it a click. In fact, let's give this a nice heading, so then we can use the table of contents in a minute. So um, these are alerts. Okay, let's move this down. There we go. So yeah, we've got this blue one here. It's very easy, you just click on it, you can type. So, um, you know, here is some very important, if you can type, it's good, information. You've got the usual uh, formatting things, you just highlight, you know, bold stuff up, add links, works very much the same way as a paragraph block. You can, of course, change these colors to your heart's consent. If you don't like the blue, you can change it. Just come over here, give it a click, click background, and then, you know, maybe you want pink, green, yellow, whatever you like. Let's add some more just to, uh, to show them off. So patterns, alerts. Green one. Go on, we'll add the blue one again. Spell information right, that'd be good. There we go, and they look really good. I, I love them, and yeah, if you've got a top tip or something like that, it's perfect. Let me just show you what they look like on the front. I'm gonna publish and we can take a look. Because on the front, you actually get little icons as well, which look really cool. Let's go back in and edit. Okay, let me show you some more patterns. The next thing I want to show you is, go back into patterns, is the product boxes, because these are a great way to show off um, any products, maybe from Amazon, that kind of thing, or some other affiliate program you're promoting. So let's start with this one, which is just like a single product um, box. I'm gonna add a, a little heading in here though, just uh, to break things up. Okay, so again, you just click, you can edit as you like. So, um, you know, change the heading here, just type, maybe this is the 2022. And uh, you know, click on the buttons, you can add your links, just click on the chain. So let me show you exactly how this would work um, with a real life Amazon product. Let me just head over to Amazon and get a nice popcorn machine. I'm liking the look of this one. It doesn't matter, it's an example, <laughs> but I'm drawn to this popcorn machine, it looks really good. So to add your affiliate link, of course you come up to your site stripe, you get uh, your text link. I always go for the full link, it makes it a lot easier if you need to change them in the future for whatever reason. Copy your link, and then you can add it to the button just by clicking on the button, clicking on the chain, pasting it in, you're gonna want that in a new tab, and then click the uh, little arrow there to apply it. Maybe change this text to, you know, something like check 
price on Amazon. This one might be you know, check price on eBay.com. Then you'd add your eBay link to that button. In terms of the image, now this is just a standard Gutenberg image block. So if you've actually got an image file, then you could upload that. Of course, with Amazon, you're not really supposed to do that. You're supposed to use the site stripe image. So in order to do that, we would remove this uh, image uh, block and then we would add a HTML uh, block. Then we go to Amazon, click on image, click on large, copy this code into our clipboard, go back and then paste that in. Let's take a look. Let's view our post. There it is. That's fully compliant now with Amazon. And uh, you know, people click on that image, they'll go to Amazon, you'll earn a commission if they buy it. So let me just show you a couple of other product boxes that we've got. Close that Amazon tab. We have got basically the same, but in different colors. That one's only got a very subtle uh, color change. Oh, well, let's add them all, why not? Uh, and then we've got these ones, which are great for comparisons. Let me add them. They work in a very similar way. Oh, we've got loads now. Uh, you just click, again, you could change this out for a HTML um, block for your site stripe images. You've got these ones where you've got three next to each other. Great for comparing stuff. And basically you don't need things like AAWP if you're, if you're doing it this way. Now, of course, it's not using the Amazon API. It won't update anything automatically, but it's still really good. Uh, and I think they look fantastic. Phil's done a fantastic job putting these together. So that's the product boxes. And the last patterns I want to show you in this video and uh, the popcorn specific patterns are the general ones. I know that sounds pretty boring, general patterns, but actually they are quite exciting. Let me just quickly add my heading because we're going to finish off, of course, with the uh, table of contents, which will require some heading. Okay. So let me just show you these. Again, browse all, we'll then go into patterns. Then in here. So we've got these kind of paragraph ones, which are great for, you know, highlighting some links maybe, or your conclusion within your um, content. Again, they can be customized however you like, just click on them. And you've got, you know, your background colors, your text colors, and all that kind of stuff here. These icons are just emojis. You can copy and paste emojis into WordPress. Just Google it. So for example, if I wanted a popcorn emoji, I could just come here and go popcorn emoji. Uh, and then you can just highlight it straight off Google, copy it to your clipboard, get rid of the book, paste in the popcorn. So I really like those. And then we've also got within general, these two, which are great for showing off processes. So, you know, step one, step two, step three, how to boil an egg, you know, heat the water, put the egg in, time it, um, take it out of the water, eat it. It's perfect if you want, need to explain how to boil an egg. But again, yeah, you just click, you can edit the text, just highlight it, start typing. Step one, it's a great place to start. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, and then, yeah, we can change the background if you like over here. And some other settings that you can play around with typography size, etc. So, there we have it. Let me add that last one if we're going to be adding all of our patterns. Now, we're adding new patterns all the time. So, make sure you keep your popcorn theme up to date and you'll get access to those. Let's finish then with that table of contents, which probably is best placed at the very top. Um, so let's do that. Let's move this down one. And we'll stick it in here. Click on the plus. 
Browse all patterns, popcorn table of contents, comes in a selection of colors. Um, I think we'll, we'll go for the yellow, shall we? Why not? There we go. Now I will say that it's quite basic at the moment, the uh, table of contents pattern. If you want something a little bit more sophisticated than something like a uh, simple table of contents, or is it called easy table of contents? There's another plugin available that can do it for you. I'll find out what it is. I'll put a link below this tutorial. Because um, it doesn't give you a lot of um, customization options. You see it's using all of the headers, including the ones within the product boxes, which is maybe not ideal. However, you can edit it. If you convert it to a static list, um, say I only want you know my main uh, headings. I don't want this product stuff. I can just literally you know, highlight take it out with a little delete, get rid of this. Take it all out. There you go, you get the idea. So there's popcorn theme patterns, have fun playing around with them and I'm sure you're gonna get your content looking absolutely fantastic. Good luck with your sites.